Top Gun Maverick finally debuted in theaters this past May after what seemed like an infinite number of delays, and it has since become not only the biggest movie of the summer of 2022, but also one of the biggest movies of all time. Is Tom Cruise returning for Top Gun 3? Without further ado, let's get right into it. In his iconic position, Pete Maverick Mitchell is returning to base almost 36 years later, and Maverick actively seeks to avoid promotion to higher ranks that would prevent him from flying. Maverick is now a test pilot in charge of preparing a group of Top Gun graduates for a specific mission. You're going too fast, man! Well, no harm in being ahead of schedule. At the same time, the phenomenal success of Top Gun has fueled speculation about Top Gun 3. Maverick's second entry has the potential to undo Maverick's flawless conclusion. Because of the success of 1983's Risky Business, Tom Cruise was already on the verge of becoming a superstar, but Top Gun helped him cross the finish line. Though incredibly cheesy, this 1986 blockbuster also had fantastic characters, quotable lines, a memorable soundtrack, and amazing action scenes. While blockbusters faded from public memory in the years following their release, Top Gun gained popularity. Maverick has resurrected magic and blown us away even more than the original film did in 1986. In this film, directed by Joseph Kaczynski, Tom Cruise reprises his role as Maverick. Given the film's phenomenal box office success, over $1.4 billion worldwide, which Hollywood hasn't seen since before the COVID-19 pandemic, Paramount would likely approve Top Gun 3 without hesitation. However, the cast and crew have repeatedly stated in interviews that everything is entirely dependent on Tom Cruise's decision. Naturally, it's difficult to imagine Top Gun without Tom Cruise, but given the current state of the franchise, the upcoming film is more likely to center on Miles Teller's character Rooster Miles. Setter wants to return to Top Gun World, but believes Cruise will decide whether the film will become a trilogy. In 1990, Cruz stated that he was not interested in making any sequels. Nonetheless, the studio may decide to produce a third film based on the success of Top Gun Maverick and the fact that Cruz changed his mind over the years. If that happens, we'll all need Cruz to reconsider. Even 36 years after Tony Scott's Top Gun was released, there is still a strong demand for extreme aerial action movies. As a result, we hope that Paramount will not postpone the next sequel by another 36 years if the third film is made after Cruise completes his Mission Impossible schedule. It could happen in the next four to five years. However, with the technology now available, it won't take another 36 years. Top Gun Maverick's primary mission was completed, so Top Gun 3 would surely include a new mission demanding Maverick and the other pilots death-defying flying. Still, because Admiral Kane intended to replace human pilots with drones, Maverick laid the foundation for a potential new narrative to show that people are superior to machines. Top Gun 3 might put Maverick and other human pilots against Kane's drones if another installation is required. Teller's proposal for a spin-off may be the best way forward for a future spin-off, and with the title in Top Gun Rooster, the lead character would have to learn how to carry on his father's and mentor's traditions. The actor stated that he was eager to work on the project. Top Gun Maverick appears to have given Cruz's character a well-deserved happy ending, saying that some younger men should now carry out his mission, but it's unclear whether this is the case. Top Gun Maverick also introduced new characters, such as Jennifer Connelly's Penny and Glenn Powell's Hangman, who may all return in the future. We also get to see more of Monica Barbero, John Hamm, Lewis Pullman, and Ed Harris. Before we go any further, it sounds like you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Jumping again on this topic, Teller's decision to recast Rooster as the Maverick's new wingman appears to be fairly straightforward. If there is a Top Gun 3 mile, new pilots may be added to fly alongside Maverick. Charles Parnell's Warlock was also a fantastic addition to Top Gun Maverick. Unfortunately, the film didn't fully utilize Parnell's acting abilities, and despite having less time to explore Bates, he nailed the character, cementing his place in the audience's hearts. Miles Teller's character, Bradley Bradshaw, aka Rooster, is the son of Maverick's best friend, Nick Bradshaw. Rooster effectively creates tension between Maverick and the two main protagonists of Top Gun. Rooster, in fact, becomes a catalyst in evolving Pete's arc of dealing with his guilt over losing his best friend, Goose, throughout the sequel. Although Rooster is the main focus, we won't see Iceman Kazaski 
because Val Kilmer's character was killed. Who can say? It's possible that there will be some flashbacks. Additionally, Miles Teller's character, Rooster, is only at the beginning of his career and a similar storyline could bring back other characters like John Hamm's Cyclone and Glenn Powell's scene-stealing Hangman. It might also bring back Cruz for a brief cameo or supporting role, but a Top Gun 3 entirely dedicated to the role wouldn't feel right for what it's worth. Paramount's potential Top Gun 3 movie can focus on more than just roosters regarding new pilots. Glenn Powell's Hangman mirrors the Maverick's overconfidence and arrogance from Top Gun. It's difficult to say how good he is, but despite his cool and occasionally offensive demeanor, it's clear that he has a strong sense of deity and loyalty. Rather than focusing on roosters and Hangman, developing their respective arcs separately might be better. Although the two characters had a clear rivalry at the start of Top Gun Maverick, they appear to have moved past it by the end. Determining who's superior among them may be a bit subjective, while Hangman has a firm grip on the steering wheel and can thrive under pressure. Rooster's comradeship and consciousness make him a force to be reckoned with. With Goose dying in the first film and Maverick and Iceman's dynamic evolving mostly on superficial, repetitive rails, Top Gun 3 can move forward with their flying relationship and friendship in addition to their individual stories. It's another element that the franchise has yet to address. Moving on to the plot of Top Gun 3, we know that in Top Gun Maverick, Pete Maverick Mitchell returned to Top Gun to help train a bunch of pilots to help them complete an extremely difficult mission of blowing up a uranium plant in a nearly impossible to reach spot. Not only did the Top Gun pilots manage to fly the mission successfully, but no one dies. And on top of it, Pete reunites with his love interest Penny and they ride off into the sunset. All this to say, there's no clear-cut answer to how a third film could see us back with Pete at Top Gun. A repeat of Top Gun 2's plot, where he has to train a new round of pilots or recruits, seems highly unlikely. Although it wasn't confirmed, it seems like Pete's final mission in Top Gun Maverick would be his last. After all, he had already been grounded by his superior, Cyclone, before pulling a stunt that got him back in the cockpit. However, a third film could look at what retirement could mean for Maverick and how he might struggle with civilian life before inevitably being brought back on board, of course. Fans can only wait anxiously as the current film, Top Gun Maverick, continues to build upon its staggering success. The sequel reignited tenfold the fandom of the first film that came to theaters 36 years ago. The film has received widespread critical and public acclaim and has been nominated for 134 awards worldwide. It was praised for its outstanding cinematography, which combined the power of cutting-edge IMAX technology with 6K full-frame cameras. Several streaming services reportedly attempted to obtain streaming rights to the film from Paramount during the COVID-19 pandemic, but were all turned down on Cruz's orders. He was adamant about having the film premiere exclusively in theaters, which is understandable given the circumstances. Now, we end this discussion here. Let me know if you are also excited about Top Gun 3 in the comments. Thanks for watching.